Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Templar, and today I thought I would never have to make a video like this, but unfortunately, I received some bad armor from Allbest, and, well, let's just say it was not good. Now, how should I start this off? Well, I guess I could start it off with the most horrible of them. That would be this. This is supposed to be a light Roman Western helmet. And this is not accurate at all, and here's the thing. Why is this not accurate? Here is a, an image of a real-looking type of version, and there's this version. This version is not accurate. The nose brim is way too wide, it's too short, and here's the thing. <laughs> The cheek guards are too short, and here's another thing. Here's a chin strap, but here's the thing. The chin strap's supposed to be connected to the, well, the cheek guards. Now, why is this also a bad idea? Here's a, here's the thing. There's nothing stopping the said chin strap from moving around. Because literally, it's just... It just... You see my point? This doesn't work. In fact, I never thought I had to do a bad review on all this, but unfortunately I have to. Now, I think, I guess the only thing they got correct was this. The plate can be removed and such, but... I mean, this is just horrible, all best, I'm sorry, but... In fact, this is probably going to be a very short review, because I don't like using these. Because, you can see why I had to buy both a new Eastern and... Western Roman helmet. Yes, I even got an Eastern version from him. But this Western version is so horrible, I would not recommend it for anyone. In which I will not even put this down in the description. I will not even put a link for the description. So, yeah. Now, another one would also be this, which looks good so far, except here's the problem it has chin straps to it, and the back plate. I don't know what they did, why they thought this was a good idea, but it is horrible looking. This, look, this, this does not look accurate at all. Because I can already tell this is not going to look good because when I put it on, it did not feel right at all. Because this thing was just scraping up against my back and under my neck for some reason. I was trying to find out why, because I could not find a reason to. Because literally, this thing does not feel accurate to what it would have felt like. Because the pack plate is this stupid looking. Because it's supposed to not do this, it's supposed to hang downward, not at this weird angle design. Because that sloping angle just... I'm sorry, this is this ugly. Now I hear you already. So, Lord, why did you buy these helmets if in the process you would know what they would look like this? Here's the thing, I did not look, know they would look like this. In fact, all of us had a, their own versions on these helmets when uh, I was buying them. In fact, prior before me buying these helmets, they actually had the correct image of what they would have looked like. But for some reason, as soon after I bought it, they now look like this. Which... Yeah, I think the most ugliest one out of them all would actually be that Western Roman version, which is this, this. Ugh. Now, the one of them that did come out looking correct would be this bassinet. Problem is, this bassinet, they got wrong for a, man, a big reason. One would be the sizing. Here's the thing, I'm a large to extra large, and here's the thing. Uh, this is a medium to small. Not a good thing for my head size. Why is that not good? Here's the thing. If I was to wear a small helmet, here's the thing, like this, then in the process, this would crave into my cranial cavity right here, especially. And here's the thing. When I wear this, it feels as though it just wants to use a gravitational downward design. In fact, here's the thing. I bought this for it to have riveted mail like this, and unfortunately, they were asking, if I wanted it, and I said yes, because I bought it that way, and they said that that's not how it was supposed to come in, and then, which, I told them I bought it that way, and it should be done that way. They agreed and decided to actually finally send it. But the thing is, 
they gave it to me a size too small. I like the fact though they did put a lining cap in here, but all best, if, for future references, all best, please make sure that it is correct sizing. Because these two are correct sizing. The only problem is they look ugly and not historically accurate, which is kind of a disappointment. So yeah, this is historically accurate to the design. Problem is, it is a bad size, which I am very disappointed. Because I was looking forward to using this for my late plate armor. So, yeah. However, that's not the last one. I really wish it was because, well, let me put these gloves on because this thing is still oiled. In fact, I haven't been wearing it because it is so bad with the measurements. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, it is male. And it's not ordinary male. This is supposed to be a male jerkin, or in this case, a male uh, light hauberk that was used by Norsemen. In the process, this male was supposed to be a type of, well, foot soldier hauberk, of which, if any of y'all understand what a foot soldier hauberk would have looked like, technically its type of design would be somewhat different. Now so, well, here's the thing. This is what it looks like when I got it down. Problem is, the sleeves. Why the sleeves? Here's the thing. The sleeves had to be tapered. Now, here's the thing though. These sleeves are not good at all. Because look at this. Right about here, for example, there is this weird little... Uh, let me get that closer for you. A weird little type of nick in the thing. Which actually is where the male is supposed to go. Now, I'm not going to put this on due to the fact I can't get this thing off my arms. Due to the fact, it's kind of like this. If I say I'm wearing the male, what happens is, when I got it, I was expecting it to be good. In fact, it was good all so far, until I started to wear it. I found out that the male was so tight around my wrists, I could barely get it off. Now, I hear you already. Oh, Templar, you probably got the measurements wrong. Actually, no, I didn't. I measured them up correctly with my late medieval gambeson. Which, yeah, not the best thing. Now, in doing so, here's the thing. The male that I got it with, the male was so tight around my forearm, of which, here's the thing, this is supposed to be a foot soldier's hauberk, meaning a Viking hauberk, that of which the male is that supposed to hang. It's not supposed to, well, do what it did. In fact, the male was this strapped to my arm. In fact, it was a mixture between a hauberk and a hobbajon, which, no, you don't do with short sleeves. Short sleeves on a hobbajon are not good. In fact, you don't see anything related to a short sleeve hobbajon because technically they look bad, and two, they're impossible to get off. Now, if y'all don't know what a hobbajon is, a hobbajon is a type of male armor that goes all the way to the arms. In doing so, you have male mittens. Now, why does that not work for this? Here's the thing. There are two versions of male hobbajon. There's the foot soldier version, and then there's the knightly version, that of which has the male mittens. However, a foot soldier's version would just have the male hanging. So all best, when it comes down to it, please make sure when it comes to your short sleeves to do it correctly. Now, here's the thing. I'm not getting... I I'm kind of am a little bit mad at all best because they sent me crap armor compared to their good armor, which I'm very disappointed in all best because I was looking forward to this armor, damn it. And the thing is, the mail itself was so bad, in fact, because when I, because the armpit, here's the thing, when I got it for the armpit, I had to make sure it had to get the right design system. Now, you're supposed to do tapering on here, and the tapering system for it, in which I thought, oh, come on, they couldn't be that stupid when it comes down to making the male, because the male is supposed to hang with a short sleeve shirts. In fact, short sleeve shirts are supposed to have this type of hanging design on the male. Problem is, they didn't do that. In fact, it was like, like this is actually of how, literally accurate of how the sizing was in that male. It was right down here, literally right down here, it's like midway down to my into my ribs, and it's this. I mean, no, you don't do that. And here's the thing. Upon getting it, I was disappointed, 
because this is not accurate. Now, if you want to see accurate type of male, what it would look like, I will leave a link to me wearing a my newly other riveted male, that of which I had to get because this is shit. Now, the reason I had to wear gloves is because this thing is still, uh, well, uh, oiled because I have not been wearing it because it is just so bad. I, I, there is no words to state of how bad this armor is. Literally, <laughs> both the helmets I got, two of the helmets I got actually, are crap. One of them is good, is very excellent with the design, the problem is it's bad with the measurements. And as well, the male is the... <sighs> all best, I'm really sorry, but I had to give y'all a very low grade on this. Y'all should have actually made sure that it was historically accurate to begin with. Now, here's the thing. All best, I am pretty much still recommending you for future videos. Thing is, though, I hope that y'all fix this. In other words, copy from historical models rather than <sighs> do what the hell you did. Because this was not fun. Because the only helmet or piece of armor I love the most would be this one. Problem is, it's too damn small for me to wear. Now, I do love the Aventail that y'all attached. I might just need to remove this from this helmet and technically, well, use it for another type of bassinet. So, yeah, I'm not happy about that either. So, but if you to reference it all, please still check out all this, but make sure that you inform them first because, unfortunately, I did not expect them to get this, well, mistake. Because, as I said before, I'm not going to be leaving links for these because I don't want my viewers to hate me for uh, sending them to, uh, well, bad armor. Because even I would not recommend wearing this at all. If, you know, when it comes to this helmet, though, I hope that y'all can actually get, inform them to get their correct head size. But as I said, I'm not going to leave the links down below, so, yeah. Because I am very, truly sorry that I had to make this video. Because... I was hoping for the best with this armor, but sadly, yeah. Now, I hear you already, but Timbar, why didn't you wear this bassinet? Here's the thing, as I stated before, this thing is too damn small for my head. I can't even wear this with an arming cap without it actually feeling as though my head's being squeezed. Which, yeah, that's not good. In fact, it looks like my head size. It does. Problem is, it's not. Literally, this thing, act, the top end here, this wants to slope downward, and in the process, this sharp point of this edge wants to actually get into my skull, which is not a good thing. And here's the thing, whenever I do wear this, it's, my head is too big for this because uh, my head is actually surprisingly up on the, like on top, right here where my hair follicles are. That is not good, that is not how it, accurate it would have been. In fact, this type of slope, this brow slope, would have been over my head, like sometime somewhere beneath, or my hair follicles and no, above my eyebrows. In the process, this would have actually kept protect my entire head, but this does not. And here's the thing: whenever I try and make sure it does this, here's the thing: it's technically well doing that, which no, that's not what they would have looked like. So I'm very disappointed with this armor. But as I stated before, I'll probably be doing these for armor test videos, in other words, I'll probably be using my weapons on them. I don't know when, but probably soon. But yeah, this is just horrible armor. So yeah. Anyways guys, hopefully you liked this video, or disliked it. Anyways. Because I would not like this armor either, because yeah. But still, like and subscribe, also click the bell button for notifications, and also check out our Facebook so that we all know what the next video is. Anyways guys, this has been Templar, have a great day. Mm -hmm.